Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, utilize the move, scale, and rotate tools. So um, I'm going to start because you can't use uh, these tools without anything in your scene. So I'm going to start just create a cube, a polygon cube under this poly modeling tab. Um, this shouldn't matter, but I'm also under the modeling tab here. Uh, this should always be here regardless. And I'm going to go ahead and just press it, and it pops up. Okay. So from here, I can uh, hold Alt, left click, and rotate around my object. I can zoom in on it, uh, holding Alt and right click, and Alt and middle mouse button click to uh, pan around this object. So um, in order to move this tool, by tapping W on your keyboard, uh, it should bring up this little uh, tool set right here. Now if you're pressing W and it's not working or doing anything, it's because your object is deselected. So be sure to have your object selected. You can run a click and drag over it and then deselect off or you can just click the object itself once and it will uh, highlight. And you'll notice it gets that highlighted green uh, around it. So there's two ways to toggle through your tools. There's W, E, and R. So W is the move tool. You'll notice the little arrows moving, pointing in directions. E is to rotate. You'll get this sort of uh, 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 set of circles uh, going around it, uh, which allow you to rotate it. And then R is to scale, and there'll be these little blocks. Okay. You can also access these tools directly over here. I'll keep this object highlighted for now. Um, hovering over here, you'll see I have the move tool, and t uh, where it says move tool, if you look far right over uh, in that same little pop-up yellow box, uh, you'll see in parentheses W, and that's where you'll see your keyboard shortcut. We also have it right here. If I move to the rotate tool, keyboard shortcut is E, and scale tool, keyboard shortcut R. So you can also access these tools this way. I prefer the keyboard shortcuts just because it's much more quick to uh, access. Now um, with that being said, let's go ahead and try and move this object around. So um, you'll notice over here, I, I was talking about the origin in uh, one of the previous videos. I have translate X, Y, Z, and then I also have rotate X, Y, Z, and scale X, Y, Z. Now the origin is 0, 0, 0, that directly where these crosses meet and intersect these big bold lines on the grid. So if I go ahead and move it, you'll notice it's moved 10.945 units to on the Z axis. And if I move it back the other way, it'll be negative 10.703. So you can see exactly where this object is going just by that. I just press Control Z to undo those just to bring it back to the origin. Uh, I can also move this tool, uh, this object, this polygon cube up and down and you'll notice the Y axis changes and then if I rotate around and I uh, grab the uh, blue handle here you'll notice translates on Z or I meant maybe this one X and now we translate on X. Okay, so um, we can do the same with our uh, uh, e, pressing E on the rotate tool. I'm going to tap spacebar just so you can see. Um, you'll notice you have this object in all four viewports and you have X, Y, and Z. So X is the red handle, Z is the blue handle, and Y, there is none uh, for green. Or, yeah, actually, never mind, there is. Uh, I was looking at the yellow one. Green would rotate on the Y axis, excuse me. Um, and then this yellow handled one. It sort of just does, uh, f from the viewport itself, a rotation, um, almost in a, an orthographic manner, but it's just for this uh, perspective viewport. You'll notice in the uh, top, front, and side, it's you can see the semicircle that it follows. So, um, anyway, and you'll also notice if I rotate. I'm rotating on X here in the channel box. If I rotate here, I'm rotating Z in the channel box. And then we also have Y, where it rotates on the Y axis here in the channel box also. 
Same thing for scale. If I scale, I'm just grabbing my handles. It's scaling on the Y axis. You can scale it positive and or negative. Uh, you can do um, right here and also here. Now, um, one other thing really quickly I'd like to show you is how to bring these tools uh, let's just say if you're struggling with this and the tool is too small or large for you to grab by tapping plus or minus on the keyboard will increase the size of your uh, tool so you could have a mesh that's you know really large right and then you have the tool directly inside of that mesh and it's really difficult to grab you can easily just increase it and let's just say you have a really small object where you need it it's you know sort of extending off screen or something and you need to bring it smaller just tap minus so plus and minus on the keyboard will increase and decrease those uh, uh, handles on the tool so um, another thing I would like to show you uh, because this is where it seems to get really uh, once you start to get into modeling and things it's kind of easy to especially when you have multiple objects in your scene when you're just beginning uh, to sort of uh, struggle navigating through the viewport so I'm gonna teach you one of the coolest easiest fastest tricks uh, to sort of always um, stay grounded in your viewport so I'm gonna create another object I'm just gonna create a sphere I'm going to tap W on my keyboard and drag this off here. Now you'll notice I'm centered around this object. Now I could pan over and sort of, but it just gets to be a nuisance, right? If I want to do anything special or just take a look at this model in general. So by, um, I'm going to show you a really cool keyboard shortcut right now. Um, by tapping F on the keyboard, let me just zoom out and sort of pan off and I'm gonna just tap F on the keyboard and it zooms directly to the object and not only that the camera will always be pointed at the origin or the um, excuse me the uh, da, 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 da. the pivot point excuse me I was gonna uh, I was gonna say origin um, technically sort of in this case the origin uh, of this <laughs> mesh but uh, not necessarily actually the pivot point or anchor point so our camera will always be pointed at this after tapping F so let's just say I want to look at the cube and I start you know going around and I'm, I'm just getting confused with the view or whatever and I can't just seem to get the right angle I want by tapping F on the keyboard will zoom you directly on that object and it will make your life so much easier to work within Maya okay so um, there are a couple other things uh, these brackets directly underneath the plus and minus sign will sort of give you these different kind of views I never use them but they are there uh, tapping F on the keyboard will zoom you directly onto your object and center the camera uh, pointing at the pivot point of that object making it super easy to uh, navigate around now um, we also have two other tools here I can show you. I have this blue square. Um, this kind of gets confusing, so I always like to stick with the uh, specific colored handles, but you'll notice it'll move it on different axes um, simultaneously, which kind of can get confusing, especially if you're just beginning. So try to stick uh, with just the um, uh, handles that are specifically for X, Y, and Z. Also with the scale tool, it has the same thing. It'll scale it in different sort of directions. I personally don't use them very often at least. Um, and I, I'll just scale things with just the handles. I find it much easier to use. Um, and one, one other thing, uh, also with the rotate tool, I'd already shown you, it sort of has all that. Now, that will work also, that uh, zoom in, zoom out on any uh, in any viewport. So let's just say you're working on an object in this scene and then you want to see it in the orthographic view but you just can't seem to find it just tap F it'll take you right to it so um, that's all I've got for you in uh, this video so um, if you have any questions be sure to message me um, or email me and uh, yeah I hope that you find this uh, 
information really useful and thank you for watching.